Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. All right, at 1220, let's check in now with Marissa. Finally, we have a nice sunny summer day. Yeah, it's definitely feeling like summer up here. There are a few clouds down in southern Vermont, but overall, really good day to head outside. Taking a live look out our Burlington camera right now, you can see those clouds around, but we do see a few peaks of blue sky. There are a few people walking along Church Street right now. Checking out our weather headlines, mainly dry today. I think we can't rule out a spot sprinkle, especially as we head into the later afternoon hours. And we bring back the rainmaker for our Friday morning commute, but I think we will be a little bit drier for our afternoon. I'll have those details in just a second. And we do start to clear things out for our Sunday. We're checking out the next 12 hours. We'll see temperatures rise into the afternoon into the upper 70s and low 80s, and we're not really cooling off all that much as we head into the overnight. Temperatures right now, though, 80 in Burlington, 71 in Brattleboro, 74 in Saranac Lake right now. And the dew point trend continues to be high, especially before that front makes its move in, but that cold front is powerful and knocks down our humidity back into the pleasant category moving into the weekend. Storm Tracker is already showing that front in the Great Lakes region right now and that will shift further east as we head into the overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. But we're starting to see a lot of clouds starting to develop. Areas of Clinton County and Franklin County, New York are getting into the most sunshine out of all of us right now. But we are starting to see a few raindrops come out of these shower um, out of the clouds in Brandon and moving over Pittsfield right now. So don't be too surprised about that. I know we did talk about the hurricane situation. This is Hurricane Hillary and it is just south of Mexico and is actually expected to make landfall somewhere around the area of LA on Monday. So we'll be keeping an eye on that so uh, people know the impacts. Futurecast right now is showing those on and off showers expected throughout the afternoon, but largely we're getting into peaks of sunshine right before sunset. Futurecast is showing that line start to move in around 3 a.m. on Friday. And by 7 o'clock in the morning, I think the Champlain Valley will get into a few hefty downpours and maybe even a rumble of thunder before the alarm clock goes off tomorrow. But I think there's a lull in the action around noontime and we get into a few peaks of sun. That obviously may spark off a few lingering thunderstorms. But into our Saturday, we are looking a little bit drier. Just a few lingering showers expected in the morning, but I do think we will be socked in the clouds as we head into the afternoon. The severe weather threat level is pretty low. I think the main concern will be the heavy rain and the gusty winds with that strong cold front. But overall, things are really looking to clear out for our Sunday. Much brighter, comfortable, and warm. So definitely have some time outside scheduled for your Sunday. Monday is also looking dry and check out what it's looking like midweek next week. Temperatures a little below seasonable limits, but hey, we're looking dry Zuri throughout midweek next week.